this is a church venue where I'm working on the sound system. Uh, it's a new venue, so I'm working on designing the speaker placements, tuning the system, as well as setting up the mixing console. For mixing, they use the Allen & Heath SQ5. Uh, we have a couple of uh, Yamaha DXR12 Mark IIs for front of house speakers, as well as a few Yamaha DXR10 Mark IIs for front of house monitors. In this video, I'll be going through how I've designed the speaker placements to the end that there is even something to design. Um, Let's just check it out. Now, uh, here's what I have to work with for my speaker placement. Um, the venue is quite small. I think the length is about 18 to 20 meters. Um, the width is about 10 meters. Um, the ceiling is low. Uh, it's about 2.5 to 3 meters height. So there's no possibility of hanging the ceilings. They have to be on poles. Um, in addition to that, we have two laser projector screens. This is one. The other one is like it. Um, these are 100 inches. So it's gonna be mounted from this pillar to wherever it gets to here. And same thing for the second one from the pillar there in the, in the, on the stage to wherever it gets to. That leaves us a little bit of space here in the middle. There will be a pulpit here for the preacher and then some, the vocalists when they wanna sing, they probably come on stage. So there's no possibility of mounting speakers anywhere outside of the wall. What I have to work with is keeping the speakers here on the wall and maybe somewhere here on the wall or so. I think drummer and uh, some instrumentalists will be around here. And um, yeah, this is what I have to work with. Now, although I don't have much options with where I can place speakers uh, in this room, uh, I'll still like to use software to uh, predict the results I can get with the option I have and probably see how I can optimize it. And for that, I'll be using MapXT which is um, a 2D prediction software from Maya Sound. So this is Map XT, and uh, what I have here is my prediction plane, which is the room when you view it from top uh, to bottom. So this is the width of the room, and then this is the length of the room. Uh, the length is 16 meters, the width is 10 meters. Uh, what is not shown here is the stage. So the stage is towards the left from um, what this uh, sound field shows. And then this is just the audience sitting area. Um, the left, this left line here shows the front of the stage. And the sitting area, the first row starts about 2.5 meters from the front of the stage. So what I'm interested in is how sound is from here, the first position, all the way to the back. Uh, my speaker placement, I have one. My right speakers will be around here, that's the top left, and then the left speaker will be around here. And uh, let's start with that, see how and predict the coverage of the speakers, then see if we need to add any other speaker or how we can tweak it to give us a good coverage. What I'm hoping for is the difference in level from front to back should not be more than 6 dB. And uh, I should have good coverage um, and consistent coverage throughout the, um, the entire sound field or the entire hall in this case. So let's uh, put a loudspeaker here, insert individual loudspeaker. What I'm aiming for is to get a loudspeaker that has a coverage pattern that closely resembles the one I have here in the room, which is the Yamaha um, DXR12 Mark II. It has a coverage pattern of 90 degrees horizontal and uh, 60 degrees vertical. The closest I have here is um, this UPJ 1XP that has 80 degree horizontal coverage and 50 degrees vertical coverage. So yeah, we just use it. Now remember, I'm looking. This uh, view shows me looking at the room from top to bottom. So I want the speaker. I want to see the top of the speaker, top to bottom, because when I place it in the room and I'm looking at the room from top to bottom, it's what I'm going to see the top of the speaker. So, yeah, this horizontal vertical probably is might be confusing, but I'm using this preview um, um, image here to guide me. And yeah, we put the speaker, and uh, so I'll move this. So this is my right speaker. Angle it to face towards the middle of the back, um, somewhere around here. And, okay, I think I should be good here. Then I'll add another one. Uh, insert individual loudspeaker, put that in output two, same speaker, and uh, okay. Uh, so I'll move that here. That's my left speaker. Angle the speaker to face. Um, yeah, I'm not very precise with precise with this, but yeah, let's just do this. Fine. And I want to predict what my left and my right speaker gives to me at four kilohertz. Um, 
yeah, which is kind of maybe set out center of the mid high frequency. Um, so let's hit the predict button. Now, what you're looking at here is uh, the colors represent the sound level from if you can see from the legend here um, the very dark red is 0 dB and all the way down to um, the blue here is minus 42 dB so we have um, each of each color change signifies 3 dB difference so I'm hoping I could get just two color changes from here to this is 6 dB difference and um, the first thing I'm noticing is that the very back doesn't have enough power, enough juice. Um, so there isn't enough speaker coverage. Around about here, this part of the church, the back, uh, kind of toilet. So I'm, I'm not too worried about the very back at the left and the right. There is an entrance here. So <clears throat> this is fine. But I don't have those sitting in front middle. They are not going to get enough sound or even if sound bounces off of the wall and gets to them it's not going to be to be an intelligible no it's not be intelligible so it's going to be it sound more full and all of that i need to fix this and i need my um, coverage to even be better so i'm hoping to put a center or a front field speaker uh, there are limits to what we can do as per speaker placement in the middle of the room but there's a pillar around here let me clear this so the pillar around close to the uh, front row uh, yeah, about the front row in the middle, I can put a speaker, at least a smaller one, maybe a DSR-8, on top of the speaker, behind, behind the speaker on top, so it will just face here. And let's attempt to do that. <coughs> so let me insert another loudspeaker and um, put that in output 3. Okay. It's quite difficult moving this. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's because I'll be at the middle, somewhere here in the front sitting area, behind the pillar. Yeah, think about that. And if I predict with this, I have a better coverage here. So, yeah, I have good sound at the back. And from here to this, it's about 6 dB drop off. Just that it's too hot now for those in front. And I could fix this by reducing the level of this speaker in comparison to the left and right speaker. Um, if I try that and let's say reduce by 6 dB, device configuration, I put that speaker in output 3. I'll just reduce the game by 6 dB and predict again. Yes, this is even better. So I have. Um, this is my back and this is my front, which is about 6 dB. It's not hot in the middle. Uh, although it's hot here at the left and at the right, before it gets to those sitting at the front row here, they're not going to like get too much. And the speaker is high anyway, so I think they will be fine. And yeah, this is about the best I can get with the uh, limitations we have in terms of where we can place speakers in the room. And I think I'm very happy with, with this. Uh, what this software doesn't take into account is that... Um, there are walls in the actual room and then sound bounce off of the walls i'm hoping that can be used to an that can be an advantage uh in my situation i'm hoping but we can uh, actually uh, see the, the results in real life and see if we can um just do a little bit of tweak tweaking this is just a good place to start knowing okay this is um what we are have to play speakers and this is what i expect and it's a good place to work with if i haven't put predict at one kilohertz i should even get something better yeah i even have better coverage in the room and for me this is a good place to start um, and this is how I'll probably use map xt to um, just give me an idea of what my speaker placement does in the room and a good place to start from thank you very much for sticking around till the end of this video you can check out this one right here to see how i've tuned the system my name is kelvin i'll see you in the next one Thank you.